it's, it's really interesting how you mentioned the different models between Germany and England and that training ground environment. Obviously, you mentioned the 8-2 defeat to Man United and you probably will be aware of, you know, the Arsenal fan TV and the Wenger out protests and everything that was kind of surrounding that period um, of uh, of Arsenal's kind of uh, journey uh, uh, in, in, the, in the Premier League. Did that not impact you at all? Did that not ever impact the, the players at all? Because obviously... I think there was a bit of a, uh, a dry sprout in terms of winning trophies and, and winning the league, etc. It must have had some impact, right? Uh, ten years, ten years, ten years. When we then won it in twenty fourteen, the FA Cup. That was after the invincible season. Obviously, that was the first trophy. So when I came, that was three years beforehand. Yeah, you got a sense for that. But the 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 funny thing when Arsene Wenger called me, he called me. You know, he called me, spoke to me in German. I was like super impressed. He said, "Yeah." We want you to bring like, literally some leadership into the team. And so, without really knowing what that meant, I thought, okay, you know, as he means that I should, you know, take responsibility. And that was, that was, that is responsibility, you know, in terms of getting to, to know him a bit better and understanding it. You feel like you, you, you need to give back here, you know, and that's a lot. I think a lot of players were in that mode of, Arsene Wenger really believes in me. He gives me the trust, gives me the time. I need to, I need to give back to the club to, and to Arsene himself. You know, I think he created a lot of that stuff. So whatever happens on the outside, he almost, no matter how heated the discussion was, it never felt on the inside. It's crazy to say that because I think if you have got a young team, a developing team, you kind of need that. There was never a sense for him like. Russian us. I think he understood the players really well. Um, you could argue that, yeah, probably we were not ruthless enough. You know, sometimes you you probably need that, but it, it was just not the style and and the environment that was that was there for. So he always kept protecting top four. That was kind of you know that was his go to top four, which is quite difficult to achieve, right? You know, yeah. I think he he was the one basically um, you know protecting us pretty much. So he created an environment where you wanted to give. You know, him back, you know, and the club back. And top four, as I said, was his absolute priority, you know, to to secure that, to, you know, to keep building the club with the new stadium. I think it was a remarkable kind of achievement that looking back to it, it was, yeah, it, it was big. With the resources he had, with the amount of people that, you know, the best players that went on, we were in that kind of section where it was... It was quite difficult to come back to winning ways in terms of trophies. Obviously, during that period, you had Mesut Ozil, Podolski, Gnabry, a bit of a German consortium to some extent. Did that help you settle with, with those players around you just to, to protect you in that sense? I think I helped them to settle, basically. <laughs> I, when I came, um, I, I was pretty independent, I would say. I, I would have... I, I was pretty good in kind of developing quickly understanding, you know, about the culture, about the, the language. Um, but then, yeah, Mezu, uh, Poldi uh, um, and Serge Gnabry coming, you know, from the youth ranks, you could see, uh, yeah, that it's an ambitious club. We're trying to immerse from, you know, not winning 10 years to to the club that gets closer and closer and closer. So, you know, these little clicks that every club has got, right? You know, we had... An, Eng an English core group where have got French connection where have got kind, kind of an international table Spanish, German we had uh, Santi Cazola we had Nacho Monreal we had Alexis Sanchez you know with, with you know naturally you separate yourself a bit but it never felt that way like in general in the dressing room I think we were all together and whoever it was English, French German, Spanish at that time um, we, we had a good team and we had a good team and what we've tried to do always. And it was with Pauli and Mesut and Serge. Yeah, I, I, probably I, I could hold them a bit more accountable, you know, because of our kind of history as German internationals. Uh, um, we, we have been through a lot of stuff together, you know, very successfully. So now we, we, had, we had good times together. And Serge Gnabry with a young player, sh like, that was probably... Showing him the way was the only way, basically, you know, to become a professional player. 
um, was probably a, a big thing as well. And yeah, unfortunately for us, he didn't unlock his potential here. But I think he had to go somewhere else, you know, to do it, um, which is unfortunate for Arsenal. But I'm, I'm really happy for him personally. In terms of what we spoke about, and just on reflection on what you've kind of elaborated on today. How does that make you a better academy manager today, Arsenal? What things make you, from your experiences, successful within what you do today? Um, I think I think I really um, enjoyed a journey, a bumpy road into professional football, and never I think never for, never forgotten where where I come from, who I am, what, what I stand for. And that consistency I want to bring, you know, to the club because Arsene Wenger, who saw me grow for seven years at this club, said to me, listen, I-, I want you to stay at the club. I want you to take over the academy. I want you to challenge the youngsters and their mentality um, going forward. So that that is huge responsibility for me and gives me a sense for not only belonging, you know, but a sense of pride and, and responsibility to take on the next generation of players and make them better people and, and keep that balanced view of not so much believing the hype all the time, but keep growing and creating gaps for yourself. You know, where can you improve? What do I need to do better? Where can I work on my reliability and consistency? That, that's that's all I'm asking for. Standards will, for, for, for me, the only way are, you know, if you have high standards, it will get you far. You know, in life, in your professional career, whatever you want to achieve, this is what I'm constantly, every day, trying to work on, role model, show, action and stay really persistent with it i think you know my whole career and how i was deemed to be successful just the whole foundation i built over the years and with with the help of my parents friends schoolmates teachers um coaches like family uncles aunties everyone it's just i just want to continue um and grow with it and you know, that, that's what I'm doing at home with my wife, kids, everyone, the Arsenal Academy, the staff, just create a sense for everyone belongs here and we're trying to make everyone better every single day. But not forget that we enjoy it, have fun because we built on those foundations. So I think <clears throat> when I'm looking back, I think Arsene Wenger has seen me seven years, you know, being consistent. And he said, listen, that will be, that, that was basically my interview, right? And that's where... That's why it's so important, you know, even when no one is watching, do the right things. You will benefit and people and mentors and coaches will see that in you and will put you in the next kind of position for you to grow and develop and do something meaningful. So uh, I believe everyone has got a chance to do that. And on that, and final question, how would you like to be remembered, Per? Um, BFG, innit? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, don't know. I, I, I just... Um, I just, I just want that, you know, wherever I was, I just, you know, when I leave at one stage that people, you know, think that he was a good guy and, you know, that someone really benefited from me and that treated people well, just when, when I leave one day, they will hopefully not come. I don't know. I I, I just want to feel that, you know, I had, I had a positive impact on, on other people. That's that was that that is kind of what I feel is, is is in my DNA. That's what I got got taught. That's how people that brought me up. I just wanna fill all those shoes that really put me in those positions. Please do me a massive favor by clicking the subscribe button now below. It helps the channel grow. The bigger the channel, the bigger the guests, and it's free.